Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on multi-region VPN connection using OpenVPN. In this tutorial series, I'll walk you through the steps that I use to connect two regions together using OpenVPN. And for this tutorial, I've already launched two OpenVPN servers, one in US East and one in US West. So make sure you pay attention to which zone that I'm in, and I'll point that out as I go. And if you need help launching an OpenVPN server, I have a tutorial that I'll link in the description below. And so you can see here that I have an OpenVPN server in US East, and this is the one that I'm actually connected to now. And we have an OpenVPN server in US West, and this is the one that we're going to tunnel into. And I've detailed out all these steps in my GitHub repository, and for the ones that I can't really detail out, they'll be in uh, this video. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to log into our US West server. We're going to sudo up. Then we're going to run these commands that I have in my repository. So we're going to first do an update. And then we're going to install strongswan and git. We're going to go into our root directory and we're going to clone this repository. And inside this repository, I have three configuration files, and we're just going to copy these to their respective directories. And we'll edit the permissions on these as well. And so you'll see if I run IPsec status, you'll see that we don't have any connections up. And what we're going to do is we're going to want to make sure we get two connections up. So now what we want to do is we want to go over to our US East server and we want to go to VPC. And in here, we're going to go to customer gateways and we're going to create a customer gateway. We'll give it a name. We'll make sure it's static. And the IP address we're going to use is the IP address of the OpenVPN server in US West. So we'll paste that in there and click Create. So now we want to go to Virtual Private Gateway, and we're going to create a Virtual Private Gateway, and we'll give it a name. And we'll make sure we attach it to our VPC. And we'll go to VPN connections and we're going to create a VPN connection. We'll give it a name. We'll select our virtual private gateway and our customer gateway we've already created and we'll make sure that's selected. And our routing options, we're going to want to select static. And we're going to want to paste in that public IP of the open VPN server in US West. And we got to give it a valid CIDR block. And we'll click create. And this will take a second to create. And so now that our VPN connection has been created, we want to download our configuration file and we're going to select generic and we'll click download. And we're going to use this uh, configuration file later on um, and we're going to use these pre-shared keys that you see here. Uh, we're going to use those to configure our IPsec and our US West server. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to our US West and we're going to log into um, this OpenVPN server. And so what we're going to do is we're going to edit those configuration files that we copied over. So the first thing we're going to, one we're going to do is the ipsec.conf file. And in here, uh, we're going to edit our write subnet. And the write subnet is going to be the subnet of our US West VPC. Um, I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but if you jump over to your VPC and you uh, copy your VPC CIDR block and we paste that in here, that's going to be the one that you want to uh, paste in there. And the VPN customer gateway, if we go to our VPN connections and we go into tunnel details, um, we're going to see those two tunnels right here. So we're going to copy this IP address. And for VPC customer gateway 2, we're going to copy the second tunnel. So we'll go ahead and save this. And the next thing we need to do is we need to edit the ipsec.secrets. And we're going to copy that tunnel 1. And we're just going to follow the same format that they have above. We'll copy the tunnel to. And again, the same format. And now these secret keys are going to be in that text file that we downloaded. So if we go open that text file, we're going to see IPsec tunnel one, and we're going to copy this pre-shared key. And we'll paste that right in there. 
and we'll do the same thing for the second tunnel. So if we scroll down here, we'll notice that the IP address is the IP of the first tunnel, and we're gonna look at the tunnel number two, and we're gonna copy that pre-shared key, and we're gonna paste that in there. And you'll notice the same thing here, that this IP address is the exact same IP address of the tunnel two. So we'll save that, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say IPsec restart. That'll restart IPsec, and all we need to do is say IPsec status, and we're gonna see that we have two established tunnels. And so now if we jump back to our VPC here, and we're gonna to go to the VPC dashboard in US East, we're gonna see that we have a VPN connection up. So that means this is working and both tunnels are up. Um, so the next thing that we need to do is we wanna to go to our routing tables, and we wanna edit any routing tables that you have here that you wanna go through. Uh, that virtual private gateway. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that these propagate. So anytime we add any static routes to our VPN connection, they're going to propagate all the way through uh, these routing tables that we have selected here. Um, and so I have two, so I'm going to edit my public and my private. And now I need to go back to VPN connections. And I'm going to jump into my static routes. And you can see here in tunnel details that I have two tunnels up. And so now in static routes, I'm basically going to put the... Uh, the CIDR block of the VPC of US West. And so basically anytime I'm in my US East server and because I'm connected to the open VPN of US East, if I try to access any private IP addresses uh, on this CIDR block, I'm going to go through my uh, virtual private gateway. So we're gonna copy that in there and we're gonna click save. And these will already propagate through our routing tables since we had the propagation turned on. And so the only other thing I want to stress here in this tutorial is that um, you want to make sure that your CIDR blocks are different for the um, different regions that you're connecting to. So what you'll notice here on my uh, US East is that I'm running on the 172.30 network and that on the US West I'm running on the 172.31. And the reason for this is I don't want to have any IP collisions internally. Um, but that pretty much concludes our tutorial on connecting two regions together using OpenVPN. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.